Okay, let's try a more advanced version of uh, that last problem. So let's say we have two exams worth 50%. And let's say you scored 72 on exam one. And let's say you tried to score that 88, but you scored 80 on exam two. And let's say your homework is perfect. But it's worth 10% of your final grade. And the rest is the final. What must we score on the final to get an 80% overall for the course? Okay, so I know my final exam score is going to be uh, 25 percent, so 25 over 100 times my first score, plus 25 over 100 times my second exam score, plus 10 over 100 times my perfect 100 percent, plus well, the final has to be 40% because that's what's left. And I want this long thing to equal 80. So that gives me, well, 25 over 100 is 1 fourth of 72 plus 1 fourth of 80 plus 1 tenth of 100 plus four-tenths of my final equals 80. Okay. Well, there's a number of things I can do. I can immediately multiply by, say, some number like 20. That would get rid of all the fractions because uh, 20 is divisible by 4 and 20 is divisible by 10. So makes all the fractions go away. But I could also multiply some of these fractions because it's not too hard to take one-tenth of 100 right? And a quarter of 80, that's just 20. A quarter of 72, well, since that would be like 4 and 4 taken from 80, right? So this would be 18. This would be 20. This would be 10. This would be 2 fifths F. And this is 80. So what do I get? I get 20, 30, 48. And now let's move everything over to the left to write it to show that this is a linear equation. 2 fifths F. And let's see. What would we need to add to 48 to make 80? Well, we'd need to add 2 and then 30, so 32. So the answer to my question is just going to be, and this is a x plus b. Of course, my b is negative 32. My a is 2 fifths, and f is my variable instead of x. I can just take negative b over a, or I could Just move the 32 over to the right and get 32 divided by 2 fifths, which is equal to 32 times 5 halves. Let's write it like this. So that gives me 16 times 5. Well, 16 times 5. 16 times 2 is 32, so 64 plus 1 other 16, um, 64 
plus 16 actually gives me 80. So why would that even make any sense? I mean, I wanted to get an 80 overall, and I, I didn't make a 72. I didn't make 80 on the first exam. What's going on here? How come I, I got 80? Well, this is a situation where you might want to check your work, but keep in mind, we had a perfect score on the homework, which was 10%. So maybe it is reasonable. Let's see. So to check our work, what would we need to do? Well, we need to say, hey, we know a fourth of the grade, we got 72, and a fourth of the grade, we got 80, a tenth of the grade, we got 100, and then 40%, uh, 4 tenths, or 2 fifths of the grade, we got 80. Is this, in fact, 80? And then once again, we know that we have 18 plus 20 plus 10. Now we can simplify this. Well, what's 2 fifths of 80? Well, 80 divided by 5 is 16, so that should be 32. And let's check our work here. Well, the 32 and the 18 together, that makes 50 plus 30. And 50 plus 30 equals 80. So yeah, we did a little lower than we'd like on the exam one. We scored exactly what we wanted for our final grade on the exam two. This homework evened out what we scored on the exam one. Uh, and then for the final, all we needed to do is get that exact 80% to have 80% uh, as part of your grade. So uh, an ulterior motive for this problem is if you wanna know what you need to score on the final in order to get a certain score, now, hopefully, you can do it yourself just using linear equations.